Gamers, welcome to my boulders. Aw oh, yeah. Today I'm playing as Mario for a change, and we are going to try every Mario Party 9 minigame and do absolutely nothing in all of them and see what the heck happens. So this ought to be the easiest video I've ever made in my entire life. We are playing Buddy Bounce right now, and it looks like nobody is going to score any points. That's very sad. I mean, they're right there, guys. Come on, the one in three, literally right there. Just touch them. This one is loggerheads, and we're supposed to be splitting wood, but obviously we're just gonna take some hits in the face from Bobbums. Next, we've got Pinball Fall, and as you can see, the icons, the pointers are not going to move, and I guess we're just gonna automatically pick the balls. I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so we just automatically pick, so hoping that Mario's gonna win here. Really? Oh, I can't shake out. I, I just can't. Is anyone gonna win, actually? That's my question. <laughs> I mean, dude, Peach is freaking dominating. God damn, look at her. Look at her. That was wild, dude. <laughs> That's it. No one else made it. No one else can escape. Now, you might be thinking it's time to launch a rocket. And you're right. It is always time to launch a rocket. But they aren't going to be doing anything. In fact, I want to see if it even lifts off the ground. I don't even know if it's going to work or not. Okay, hey, you know what? They're getting in. At least they didn't put in any energy, but you never know. Maybe some air will, you know, push one. That did not work so well. Next, we have Goomba Village, and we're supposed to be counting Goombas and stuff, because, you know, they're going into all the colored houses, but... I mean, we, we could still count them if you really wanted to, but there's no uh, selections that'll be made. So now, we, uh, we will not be picking a house. I mean, I want to, but we're not going to. But let's see what the game chooses for us. Wait, hold on. The game didn't make us pick houses. Okay, so who ends up winning? Oh, man. Speeding bullets ought to be a pretty fun one. We're supposed to be turning our Wii remote. <laughs> Oh, but the game still lets us go. Wait, hold on. Are we going to tie? Oh my god, I think we're actually going to tie. I am very curious, honestly. If, like, there's no way that these aren't all going to get the exact same score, right? No way, we're actually stuck. <laughs> you can actually get stuck. Well, I guess I could move, but... Good old Piana Pool. I love the Pianta in this game. And, look, here's the problem with this. None of us is going to go for these rings. Like, he's got to throw the rings on us. Now, I'm wondering if these rings are going to disappear. If they disappear and he keeps chucking rings, that'd be great. But it looks like he's just going to hes just gonna be jamming and waiting for us. Like, that's just how it's going to be. So, we're supposed to shimmy down here. I'm assuming we're going to get the exact same score now. At least compared to last time. Man, it's a long shimmy down when you're hitting, like, every freaking spike. But it's going to be a tie. Everyone gets first place. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh god, Sky Jinx. Not gonna go well, I can already tell you. Now, I think everyone spawns back. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't, that doesn't mean we all lost, but hey, that is something, I guess. Wait a minute, what? There's actually a winner and loser in this. Oh, that's so weird. Time to do some jump roping. We're supposed to hit buttons to uh, get like points. We're, this is not going to happen. The question is, do we all win or do we all lose? We're all losers. Now is the time to pick the correct door. And let me tell you what, I'm not picking Jack anything. Nothing. We're all just going to get eaten by Mecha Koopas. Oh man, indeed. Well, we're supposed to put together this puzzle piece. Mm, too difficult. Too much effort. We're supposed to be hitting this the, the, the block. You know, we're trying to get... We're supposed to hit it with the thing that we see, and we're just not going to do that. You know what they say, it's always a good idea to do your upward mobility, move up in life. But you know what? Mario, Peach, Luigi, and Daisy, they are perfectly fine where they are right now. We're supposed to be, of course, going for these rings. We're supposed to be moving our Wii remotes up and down. I'm kind of praying that we run into a ring that's just, like, chilling, like, in the water, you know? Hey, that could happen. Haven't seen it yet. Probably not going to happen at this point. We've passed like, what, 30 rings and all of them are above water. So I'm not feeling too good about anyone getting points here. Oh, God. It's smash compactor time. Dude, this is literally just luck. <laughs> Rip Luigi and Daisy. At least they're going out together as a couple, right? I'm a huge fan of peak precision. We're playing the actual original Mario Party that has it. And I can't do anything about it. We've moved on to 10 to win. I don't know who's going to go first, but I'll tell you what. Everyone's going to get last here. I'm actually curious if it's what's going to happen. Is he even going to pick up a card? Oh, what the heck? He actually does pick up a card. Okay. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Eight points, baby! All right. 
I just need a plus two or better at this point. That's it. Plus two! Hell yeah, let's go. And that's how you win that mini game by doing absolutely nothing. Now we've got Tuber Tug, and uh, you know, as you'd expect, no one is going to be doing any tugging here. Another card game, this one being Card Smarts. Now I'm assuming the game is just going to pick for us this time, so we're all picking a one, I guess. So I think the point is like you're supposed to pick a different card, but that's, uh, everyone's just, damn, everyone just picks the same card every time. Believe this one is Toad Smarts, we just have to watch Toad. Uh, look, I'm going to watch them, but it's not going to matter much. That, that's for sure, we have definitely started. There's no time limit, nothing's gonna happen. Oh god, polar extremes. We're definitely gonna feel the polar in a second. Okay, I like that. <laughs> All right, we got dragged along. I thought we were just gonna get left in the dust. So we won that. Okay, I'll take third place. Ah, Goomba Bowling. Another iconic Mario Party 9 minigame here. Now, here's the thing. So she's got 15 seconds to line up her shot. I'm assuming what's gonna happen here is she's just gonna bowl automatically where she is. All right. Oh my God! You get an insane score if you do nothing. <gasps> Jesus! Oh no, Tumble Temple, this isn't gonna go well. Who's going first? It's Luigi, oh no. Can I be last please? No! I guess I was, I was second, right? Was I second? Yeah, yeah, by like a, a smidge of a second. Now we have Twist Ending. Really the only thing I want to point out that I've never noticed, you can actually see the reflection of everyone on the lockpick. That's really cool. Manner of Escape is a great mini game, but uh, we're not going to play it. We're just, we're chilling up here, getting a good, nice long look at the nice starry sky. Now, Player Conveyor could have actually been really interesting if it placed us on the conveyors to begin with, but here, just nothing's going to happen. Ballistic Beach is going to be a little less ballistic. You can guess why, I think. It's balloon time. We're supposed to hit the balloons. Yo, you can- the balloons actually come down. Okay, this is really interesting. Okay, so here's my question. Is anyone going to actually end up with balloons? Because there are a lot of spikes, and we lose our balloons when we get hit. It's the last five seconds. It looks like Luigi's got a clear- Oh, just kidding! Peach coming in clutch with six balloons! Damn, Peach, that was wild. Six balloons at the end. Finger painting, pretty interesting mini game, but this is gonna be fingerless painting this time. I don't see a world where bomb barge goes well for any of us. Bomb's gonna drop in. We're probably gonna fall off. There, <laughs> there I go. There goes everyone. Jesus, it's like a three-second mini game there. And now we play. Don't look. We're all gonna be just looking straight the whole time. So, does that mean no one gets points? I guess. Oh, there's 10 rounds of this. Look, I'm just going to tell you the answer. We're all going to lose. Snowgo looks so much fun. It's too bad I can't actually play it. Piranha Patch is going to be an interesting one. Are any of them going to spawn near our basket? And if so, can we just, like, get them, right? I mean, they're spawning out and they spawn back in. So maybe one will... Luigi got one. Luigi actually got one. I got a flower. Hell yeah. All right, I guess me and Luigi- Oh, Luigi, Daisy got hit! I can't believe that me and Luigi got a flower. That's nuts. So, we've got Plunder Ground. We're supposed to be guessing which chest has the most things in it. Don't think that's going to matter much here. We've played Peer Pressure recently, and it was in a different Mario Party. I'm assuming it works the same, where I'm just going to be randomly selected a rod to pull. This one's called Ballistics, and things are about to get ballistic. Dead, dead, and dead. We're supposed to tilt the thing. Hey, it does it for us. Wait, why did mine move? I'm gonna start over. I think I touched my remote. Okay, I did not touch my remote that time. I'm not sure why that's happening and the other ones aren't, but there you go. I mean, no one, no one's scoring anything now. This is the Thwomper Room. Things are not looking too good. With matching urn, we're supposed to pick the correct urn. We're not gonna be selecting a damn thing, so let's see what happens from that. Oh, would you look at that? No one scored. Wow. This one's Goomba spawning. You count the Goombas. We're not going to count the Goombas. Therefore, no one scores or wins. Yep. Magma Mayhem Insane. I indeed, I should say. <laughs> rip, dude. Hella rip. Oh, dude, and Mario survived. Let's go. That's why we main the Mario. This mini game is called Pizza Me Mario. Haha, <laughs> I get it. But this pizza is not going to have any toppings on it. 
Okay, Fungi Frenzy. We're not going to be scoring a damn point. And now we are at Mecha March. We have moved on to the beginning of the Bowser Jr. minigames. And uh, Bowser Jr. is going to get away. It's actually kind of interesting that they uh, made the audio quieter and quieter. It is Bowser pop time. No one's popping anything. This minigame is called Double Pounder with Cheese, Little Light on the Mayo, and Go Extra Lettuce. That's actually what it's called. We're supposed to pick a button, I guess. I don't know what happens after that. Let's see what Bowser Jr. does. Oh, nothing! We just die. Mario did say let's go for Zoom Room, but we're not going anywhere. I can see a Bowser Jr. I could just hop over the fence if I really wanted, but I don't care. Cage match, fellas. Now, can Bowser Jr. hit us? Doesn't seem like he's going to. You know, Bowser Jr., you're really lucky, buddy. You, you're, you're lucky, man. I don't gotta do anything. This is Bumper Sparks. I'm a little concerned. Oh my god, damn. Well, we don't lose points, necessarily. Yo, so Sand Trap is basically Checkerboard Chase from Kirby 64. And unfortunately, we don't get to play it. And here is Pair of Aces. I like how he's just staying right in my crossfire. Oh my god. Damn, she's burning, dude. We are not pedaling. We are not pedaling. We are not pedaling to the pedaling. We're just... <laughs> he's just mocking us. Well, now we've got Ryan's Rumble. The Dry Bones are kind of running around. That's it. And now is Hazard Hold. Can you guess who's going to win this one? Now, I'm supposed to be drawing circles and lying in the sand to catch these guys, but they just get to have a little fun little beach day, those lucky rascals. Block and roll, baby. This would be an easy victory if I could just move. Nothing's gonna happen. Well, these cards do have some weird wheels, but you know what else is weird? I'm not pushing buttons. That's weird. Spike and span. Not looking too pretty. Not looking too pretty, fellas. Let's go. Victory Royale, baby. Whole Hog's definitely an interesting minigame. I will not be participating. I'm just not feeling it today, you know? Now, picks fix. We should be fixing the picks, but no picks will get fixed. That's just a mix. Mob Sleds, normally a pretty fun minigame. Oh, I'm dead. We've officially moved on to the boss battles, and let me tell you, then boss is going to have a nice day today, because with Socket like it too. Daisy's gonna get hit. Uh, you know, Mario's gonna get hit. That's just how it's gonna be, like, the whole game. Womp Stomp! Uh-oh. This is a problem. Daisy gonna get hella squished, like, a billion times here. Here we go. It's Zuck time, baby. Oof. Oh, and we're supposed to help? <laughs> we're not gonna do anything. We're doing nothing whatsoever. And that's just the cycle until the end of time. And now on to deck Dry Bones. Watch the cards. No, I refuse. It doesn't matter anyway, I'm not gonna pick them. This one's cheap, cheap shot. We're supposed to be taking shots at the cheap. Hey, at least Peach and Luigi got a Koopa shell. That's good. Will they use them? No. Oh no, Spike Strike. Oh no. This is not gonna be good. Oh god! Oh! Oh, I thought we were gonna get knocked into the lava. I mean, that's just as bad. Well, it's time for good old Bowser Jr. Breakdown. Now, you might think I'm going to hit the dice. I mean, the game might force me. It's kind of interesting how some games force you to do actions and some don't. So for this one, okay, so I am forced. All right. So that's good. I get an actual hit in. Wait, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I have to roll a two or... Okay, I see how this works now. So Peach has to get a two here, right? Are you getting a two? Nope. Okay, so a one or a four basically for Luigi. All right, buddy. Come on, one or four. I'm kind of rooting for you. Yo, we got a four that time. Nice. So he actually hits him, right? Oh yeah. oh, yeah, indeed, dude. Oh my god, he gets 12 hits on him. Damn, son, that's crazy. Two hours later. One or four. That's it, fellas. That's all we need. Hell yeah. Bowser Jr. is dead. We actually beat a boss by doing nothing. That's insane. And you know what's sad? I think Daisy... What is the bonus she gets? She gets plus three. She tied with Daisy. Not only did we win, but we had a tie. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, no, she tied with Luigi. Okay. This would be a banana blast, but we're just going to stay in the cannon, and there's no time limit, sad. Oh, there is a time limit. Never mind. We can wait. I'm actually really curious how this is going to work. Are we going to shoot out? Oh, it doesn't even do, like, one shootout? Oh, that's lame. Here we've got Wiggler Bounce, or what I'd like to call the scariest game of Snake ever, because we can't move. Luigi got hit. He's just getting hella, dude. He's getting sniped, bro. It is time to bombard King Bobom, or so you might think. 
Pick a bomb, any bomb. What's the bomb we're gonna pick? Will we be forced to pick? No, of course not. Now we have King Boo's puzzle attack. I'm not seeing any attacking, I'm just puzzled. I'm sure King Boo is puzzled what's going on here. No one's doing anything here. Blooper Barrage, will anyone shoot? No. Chain Chomp Romp, fellas. And will we be forced to pick? Yes, okay, one of the rare mini games where we're forced to pick. So there's actually a chance here that we could win. There's also a chance we lose, but... Oh, never mind. Okay, so basically what happens is... Like, yeah, you can get hit, you just don't score a point. I thought you were, like, eliminated for sure. Okay, so that's good. I got myself three points in the lead now. It's looking like we're gonna see a winner here, potentially. Oh, it's gonna be very close. We might actually have to go another round here. Let's see. Oh, one more round. Hmm, and I'm not getting the point. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, but Peach's first point, that's actually fantastic. She's gonna get the bonus plus three, that's four. I still win even after all of that. Now we have Bowser's block battle. Throw the dice. No, I refuse. You, you gonna make me Bowser, huh? Oh, snap. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. So it's gonna be totally random who wins this thing. So we're about halfway through this at this point, and we're just losing points like crazy. Peach somehow still has three. There was a big Bowser block, and I don't know. Oh my god, that's not good. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess Luigi's gonna score some points here. <laughs> oh sh! I actually lost. I've done nothing for so long. Guys, I've done nothing for so long, my controller got disconnected. Dude, look at all those Luigi blocks. Is this the end? All right, fellas, I think this is it. We're gonna get three hits on Bowser and he is very, very close. So two for Peach. Oh, uh, I don't think so. We still got a little bit more to go. Is this it? And Peach delivers the final blow, final attack. And she's the only one with points because we got bombarded with so many fireballs. God damn, that was freaking ridiculous. But hey, we get to end on a high note. We're on the last mini game. We're doing some DK banana bounce. And even though we can't play, at least we get to look at DK, jam around. And look at that. Look at that man go. Oh! Look, he's. That's. Look. Okay. Look. I'm going to do my best DK impression right now. Okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready for the best DK impression you've ever heard? Oof. Oof.